Hi everyone. Let's see how this extension works. First, make sure that it is enabled from this pop-up and then if you are seeing this button, everything is ready for you to do the advanced visualization. Just click on this button and then it will automatically move to this tab and it will refresh the page and then this um, chart will open up for you. And on this chart, now let's take a look at the features that it has. When the chart loads, you can see it's very familiar. It shows clicks, impressions, CTR, and position. But the thing is that there are some additional features that helps us to better analyze the data here. For example, if you click on this time period, you can see all the data in a weekly basis. You can do it also in a monthly view. You can see two metrics at the same time, or even three or four, based on the method that you are using for analyzing your data. Now I would like to open this drop down and show you the other features of this extension. For instance, you can select from these three chart types, line chart, bar chart, area chart, depends on what you prefer to see here. And also you can switch back to, for example, here, weekly view and remove impression, go back to maybe bar chart and click here and see a trend line. So it will draw a precise trend line based on the data that it exists here. And if you want to have a better understanding of your trend line, you can reduce the chart's opacity. You can also take a look at the moving averages, like on a weekly basis, we have four week and eight week moving averages. If you switch back to daily mode, the moving averages are different. We have seven day and 14 day moving averages and it's viewing moving averages is really helpful because it reduces and removes the outlier data for you so you can have a better understanding of the overall things that are happening with your website's performance. Another feature is annotation. For example, here you can click a horizontal line here as a minimum and maybe draw another one at this maximum. You might want to show a specific date, for example, here like February 1st, you can draw it. Uh, vertical line here and maybe even you can you want to draw at the end of the February as well and in this way you are mainly focusing on this time period also you can redo or undo with these buttons and if you want to write something like for example HCU would love it I know you can write it here and then maybe move it to anywhere that you like and then draw a line as well so you can clarify when this happened. Unfortunately, currently the extension doesn't support saving these uh, annotations, but if I see there's a request around it, I can add that feature to this as well. And also, next feature is that you can draw boxes if you want to define a specific period or talk about something, it can be mentioned here. You can also move this by just clicking on it and dragging it. And very easy, you can delete all of the elements that you have added to your chart. In the daily mode, because the time frame is usually very large, you can also zoom in on a specific period. And now you can see the chart can zoom out or zoom in when I scroll. These are the main features of this extension. I hope you will use them and introduce that to other SEOs 